This is the only video you're gonna have to watch on how to install Google Analytics 4 properly when it comes to your e-commerce brand with Shopify. First thing that you will need is obviously a Shopify store. You need to make sure everything is set up properly. You'll need to make sure all your settings are properly in place. And the second thing you will need is a Google Analytics account. Now, you could have a normal UA4 tracking tag already installed. It does not matter. But what we will be showing you is exactly how to set up a brand new GA4 tag for your account. From your Google Analytics dashboard on your account on the home page, you want to go on the bottom left and go ahead and click on admin because from admin in the middle section, what you will be doing is you'll be creating this little section, this little blue button called the create property. The first step is creating the property and you need to give your property a name. It's entirely up to you what you want to name it. Make sure you have chosen the right country. Make sure you have chosen the right time zone as well. And make sure your property name is big enough because as you saw here that the property name is not big enough so we're gonna just make sure it's properly set up and it has a big enough name once that's done make sure to choose the right currency but with that you don't need to do anything here with advanced options you can just go ahead and hide advanced options but you can go ahead and click next because once you click next now it will ask you a few business details this is where you want to choose the category which you sell within or what your brand is within so if, for example with a lot of e-commerce brands you can specifically either choose your niche if you see it here otherwise if you don't see your niche you can go ahead and choose shopping for example for the sake of this example we're going to choose shopping business size we're going to choose as it is and then we're going to hit next so now it's going to ask you to choose your business objectives if you run an e-commerce brand it's going to be only one objective which is to drive online sales go ahead and click create once you click create it will say start collecting data now this is the next most important step you want to click web the first option and from that you want to go ahead and type in the url of your website now go ahead and write that in and then you can give it a stream name so whatever you want to again i'm just going to give it the stream name of the website itself just to make it very straightforward basically making sure everything is properly capitalized and that's pretty much it once that is done then that's pretty much it you want to make sure enhanced measurement is enabled because with this now you'll be able to kind of calculate a lot of extra things such as page views scrolls outbound clicks if you click see more there's things like video engagement file downloads if there's any files etc so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit create stream and that is pretty much it now the next step for you is actually to install that code onto your website and it actually tells you how to do that here as well but with this video we're going to show you how this is done so the first thing you need to do is you need to copy your tag which is this one right here you can click this button and then from here what you're going to do is you're going to go to your store your online shopify store and from here you're going to click sales channel from sales channel you're going to choose online store because from online store we need to click the last option which is preferences now within preferences if you scroll down you will see the google analytics account this is not where you're going to paste your code because you're actually going to click manage pixel here because we do need to add that google channel in so once you go ahead and click on that then it will take you to this property right here this page and you want to click get started with google analytics property so once you click on that that is when it will ask you to basically sign in to your property and it will show you your property where you can just simply click on your google tag and basically make sure it's the same one which comes up here and that's pretty much it google analytics 4 is connected for you that's the first step it's really the easiest way to go about it but normally what can happen is if you don't want to use the google app itself you don't want to use the google sales channel because you maybe use an external software like simprosis to connect your products to the merchant center then this is going to be an extra step which you don't really want to do or need to do so in that situation what you can do is actually add your tag in manually and that's exactly what we're going to do here from your google analytics account what you want to do is you want to click on view tag instructions when you click on that it's going to say install with a website builder or install manually you're going to click on install manually Manually, and it will give you this tag right here so essentially what you need to be doing is once you copy this you want to go back to your shopify store and then from your shopify store you want to again go to your online store and then you want to go to your themes page and then from here you want to make sure this green symbol comes up which has current theme and that is the basically the theme that is currently active on your website so from here what you want to do is you want to click on these three dots until this section comes up and you want to choose the second to the last option which says edit code because we will be going inside one of 
of the files to put in our Google ads for conversion tracking code. So from there, what you will do is you will want to search for one file. It's called the theme.liquid file. If you just type up theme, it should come up right here. It's called the theme.liquid file. And from here is when our installation process begins. So before you even copy and paste this code right here into your theme.liquid file, you first want to make sure there is already no other mm -hmm. code installed. Like right here already, there's already a Google and analytics for code installed so it would not make sense to install brand a brand new code for this website however let's assume that for you there is no code like this installed and everything is clean for you to install so basically the next step for you is to copy this code right here just click this copy button go back to your Shopify theme.liquid file and make sure to add that code in right below the head tag right here. So right here where it says head, you can write it right below or if you have another piece of code, maybe skip a line and then add in that specific code one more time. And it's literally that simple. And then you just hit save and that is pretty much it. That's all you need to do to properly install that code. Once that is done, then basically you can come in here and you can check the code to make sure that it is actually collecting data. It will tell you right here that if you installed the tag more than 48 hours ago to make sure if it's set up properly. But if you just installed it right now, then you need to give it up to 48 hours for it to even start getting that tracking information coming in. Now, once you're done with that, you're still not done with the proper setup for your GA4 tracking because now you need to be creating a few custom events to make sure all of the pieces of the data and the funnel are getting tracked properly. So if you go ahead and click right here, create custom events, it will take you to this page where it might say you have some events or you don't have events. What you wanna do is you wanna click the create button and start creating custom events. If you just click on it, it will tell you different kinds of custom events that you can track things such as add to cart add to wish list begin checkout etc but the reality is if you are using shopify to install ga4 then these things are already tracked with ga4 so it's not something you have to actually create a custom event form so that's pretty much it for setting up your ga4 tags you want to give it about 24 to 48 hours for this message to go away and for you to start seeing different things happen within the home page of your google analytics dashboard but if you're doing forty thousand dollars per month in revenue you need just a little bit of extra help scaling your brand to the next level go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and schedule a free call with me to see how we can potentially work together and make that happen